Well, the sunshine and approaching warm-up may be a bit deceiving, but we're in the thick of the autumn season, and that means temperatures will be gradually dropping. And so will the water, and that can be deadly if someone falls in. New at 5, 10 of your science, Kara Dixon, join the Coast Guard with how to survive in cold water. It's a beautiful fall day here in Cape Charles. The air is a little warmer, but you can't say the same thing about the water. So if you plan on going out to enjoy this, the Coast Guard has a few tips and tricks for you when you're out on the cold water. Teamwork makes the dream work, and that's the case here for the Coast Guard base in Cape Charles. They're teaming up with the National Weather Service for Think 60, a partnership aimed at highlighting the dangers for paddlers during colder months. So temperatures below 70 degrees in the water can cause hypothermia. Between 60 to 70 degrees in the water, someone can stay conscious between two to seven hours. Under 60, that drops from one to two hours. So Petty Officer Shannon J. Kearney says it's important to keep your life jacket on. In 10 minutes, even the strongest swimmers can lose muscle control. So it can be increasingly difficult for them to put on their life jacket. You also want a whistle and a mirror to signal for assistance. Kearney also recommends using the help position. It's where you bring your knees up as far as you can and wrap your arms around them to preserve heat. Kearney says 20% of people die within minutes because of gasping in the cold water once they fall in. We really try to demonstrate putting your hands over your mouth and your nose to control that breath of air. And it's that air that can be deceiving. That's why they want you to dress for the water and not the weather, which you can check through updates by the National Weather Service. Updates and tips, Lieutenant Gary George says, can make the difference in saving lives. We encourage people to make float plans, to look at the weather, to tell people where they're going, to go in pairs, uh, and to have the right equipment with them. If you do plan on going out, the Coast Guard recommends using a vessel identification sticker. This helps put them in contact with someone who may know where you are, or if they do find your vessel and you're on shore, it lets them know that you're safe. Reporting in Cape Charles, Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.